right, we are always looking for better information about self-publishing books. And rather than me saying, come check out me or go check out Kelly Publish on YouTube, I thought I'd take the liberty of sharing some of the best YouTube channels for learning about publishing books. And we're gonna review a little bit of last year. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you stay tuned. Welcome to Self Publishing with Dale. And Kelly. And uh, if you're, by the way, gee whiz, if you're new here and you wanna learn more about publishing books that sell and building an unstoppable brand, make sure that you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single live broadcast here every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Daytime. I don't think you need that. I, yeah, I don't. I could probably just shout across the room. So at any rate, a uh, big shout out to my boy, John Wasser, for hooking me up with the Right Drunk Edit Sober <laughs> shirt. You can go to selfpublishingwithdale.com slash drunk to get your drunk shirt. So um, Diana's in the house and Rob, thank you. Excellent. Well, hey, uh, let's Let's make sure, hey, those of you watching the replay, just give us one minute. We want to say something to the live chatters, and we're going to talk about some of the best YouTube channels about publishing books. So who all is in the house? I know Mojo is here. Guest, guest, good to see you. Great beard tube. Diana, once again, thank you for the support and stopping by again. Rob, what's up? Mojo, Ken, so good to see you. It's an old familiar face. What's up? Yeah. Uh, Mexi Slang, Raul, what's up? Um, and everyone else that scrolled in the norms, Mark Brownless, what's going on? KB loves karma, good to see you. Kim here, I'm here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, that's right. And if Kim I, here, I there, missed and you, I apologize. Luxury card store. Social media club, Rob Balasabas from Thinkific is in the house. Rob, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. Why didn't you tell me this? Uh, Matt Landry, I see you, buddy. Are you throwing back one of your favorite IPAs as you're getting ready to watch us? So, all right, our minute's up. Now it's time for us to get to the stuff that we need to talk about. YouTube and some of the best content creators when it comes to learning about publishing books. Now, before we go into that, I would like to know from you, what are some of your favorite content creators on YouTube right now that you learn about publishing books. And a couple of today's choices for 2018 actually are viewer submitted ones that have given me some before. And a few of them are actually my personal favorites. So let's jump right into things right away. Here we go. So last year we had 10 that I chose from. And actually this is about the time that Kelly really wasn't with the channel. So she really didn't have too much say on this one. We're gonna start it out with my boy, Jason Brock. I've said, I shared a lot of great things about Jason. Jason still has some great and valuable content over there and I consider him one of my best friends. This guy is a fantastic man and he was a great mentor and coach for me early on. Tim Knox, uh, you guys have seen him numerous times on this channel. Tim actually is no longer in the business of publishing books. He took his ball and went into real estate, oddly enough, where Willie Mays kind of camping out. So Tim's actually pr producing a lot of great videos about real estate, and I've seen some of them over on LinkedIn. So if you get a chance, go over and say hi to Tim. Bruce Jones, this is an interesting one. Uh, Bruce was one of the ones I learned a little bit more about putting together children's books. His channel is no longer available on YouTube since I actually posted this. It's a weird like snafu that happened where they just took away his channel. What are you doing, YouTube? Bruce was good. Uh, Bruce was definitely a really fantastic guy. I understand from my boy K Wheeler Books, Keith said that uh, J Bruce Jones actually is over in Vimeo now, so you can always go check, take a look at that content. Off the level up, I just interviewed Michael on over on Facebook Live last week. Michael is fantastic. Love the, his new content is stellar. Archangel Inc. Rob Archangel, he's my boy. He's been putting up a lot more uh, videos as of late. Make sure you go over, check him out. The Kindlepreneur, Dave Chesson. I'm blazing through this, by the way, folks. This is last year, so just take notes as you go along. Dave Chesson, man, this guy's the go-to resource when it comes to search engine optimization, and he's also the creator of KDP Rocket. Did you know that? Yes. Ha. Ah. Derek Murphy, Derek is an awesome guy. We just, he and I actually started getting to exchanging some information with each other over on Messenger. Derek is fantastic. He has a ton of great content over on his channel. 
Tom Corson Knowles, I actually interviewed him. This guy is probably one of the OGs, as I call him, of the self-publishing community. Definitely take a look at some of his author interviews. He gives some really good deep insights on that. Jenna Moresi, she's more of a writer's writer. Uh, she gives a lot of great information. She uh, is uncensored, candid, and a lot of fun. And last but not least, good old friend of the channel, Emeka Osai. We got to see Emeka this past week over, or week before last, over in Los Angeles. And Emeka's still trucking at it and still doing the old YouTube business. So, this year, boy, I plowed through those really fast, didn't I? I just remembered a channel that I watched that's a publisher. I don't know if it's on the list. Okay, well, you'll see if it's on that. That's what I needed to do. I needed to do the Chris Jericho. You just made the list. Let me go and give you a banana sticker anyways. You just made the list. All right, so here we go. Starting out, this is my 2018 list, and I've put it in order of my preference. Feel free to disagree. And if I didn't add your channel, it's not that I didn't think your channel was great. You know, there's many good channels. I had to pick and choose. We're going to start this one out with Sterling and Stone. One of the viewers actually suggested this to me a long time back. It actually has Johnny B. Truant. It has uh, Sean Platt, and it also has David Wright. These three uh, make up Sterling and Stone, and they actually have published their own books, and they put out a book on self-publishing, and I believe it was called Write, Publish, Repeat. Uh, Johnny Andrews, friend of the channel here, had suggested me to their book, and it's a great read. Very in-depth, very long. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, so this, the, this team here, they pretty much put together, it's no frills. It's a pretty much like a podcast. It's very down to earth. It's relaxed. Don't expect anything over the top or any kind of, you know, jump cuts or pre-tape videos. It's all just a casual format when they sit down and talk. And they talk a lot about writing. You ever seen them? No. No. All right, The Creative Pen. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorites and I've just really started digging into some of her content. Her name's Joanna Penn. And uh, Joanna is just really, the self-publisher's self-publisher. She is definitely somebody to aspire to and to learn from. Joanna is anywhere and everywhere. So when sometimes some people go, how do you get any rest? What, how do you do all that? I wanna know what Joanna's secret is. So Joanna, I'm shouting you out so if somebody can clip this footage, send it over to her and send her over here and be like, give me the secret. What's the secret, huh? All right. She's Next. also on a podcast if you don't want to listen to her on YouTube. Oh, okay, good. So was she the one that you were thinking of? No. No, oh, okay. Chris Fox, uh, also known as Chris Fox Writes. You go to chrisfoxwrites.com. You get some more information about him. Chris Fox actually is another excellent resource, and he talks a lot about the business of writing. And if you get his series on writing and publishing, it's really nice. He takes it bit by bit, piece by piece, and you can literally, if you want to, you can go into one portion of the series, you can jump over to the next one if you don't want to deal with it. He talks everything about writing to publishing to everything, including marketing and such. Chris is awesome. His content is well polished. His thumbnails in his YouTube channel is stellar. Love me some Chris Fox. This was another one that was recommended to me some time ago. And I come to find out a lot of viewers really enjoy his content. And I think he's got upwards of like 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So that tells you he's definitely been on here and uh, trucking away. So kudos to you, Chris. He was one of my favorite guests I had here on the show. Self-publishing formula. You ever heard of self-publishing formula? Maybe you've heard of the name Mark Dawson. So Mark Dawson is really one of the people that is, he was a traditionally published author and made the transition over to the self-publishing world. And he struggled just a little bit, but he just, he found success. It just, it took off. And he is very, very down to earth, um, really cool guy. He fully discloses his monthly earnings inside his self-publishing formula group. And I uh, highly recommend you go check, take a look at that. So if anybody enjoys our Facebook group at Self Publishing Books, you may enjoy Self Publishing Formula. It's very dialed in. I like how the group dynamic is there and Mark really kind of gets himself involved. It's also a podcast style video format if you go over to that channel. And his co-host is... Uh, bear with me, James Blatch. I'm sorry, James. I can I have always forget your name, but I can remember Mark's name for some reason. Great content. You can actually even consume that content over on many podcasting platforms. So kudos, 
self-publishing formula is fantastic. By the way, as we are kind of plowing through some of these things, if you think of something that you enjoy, why don't you drop that over into the comments and you know see if you can beat me to the punch. I've got six more to plow through and then we're gonna go ahead and talk to the people here in the live chat. All right, Orna Ross. Now, if you're not paying attention close enough, you're gonna miss Orna Ross's channel. She is a diamond in the rough and she has a significant amount of subscribers on her over on her channel. Here is what she brings to the game. She's actually associated with the Alliance of Independent Authors, otherwise known as Ally. And Ally is a fantastic organization that works with independent authors in many, many walks of life. And rather than me spewing what they do, what I would just recommend is take a minute or two and go to Orna's channel. Orna actually has an interview with a gentleman, I'm not kidding you, his name is Darren Hardy. And he actually is not the Darren Hardy of Success Magazine. His name is Darren Hardy. He's from over in the KDP UK branch. And she interviewed him. Orna, you got to tell me the secret here. Because KDP, they won't, they won't come over on my show. Now, they'll get me on the phone. They'll get me over on email. But for some reason, they don't want to come to my show. So Orna actually was able to get somebody from their KDP team over in UK and sit down with them. It's very eye-opening. And it's not... And you're not, not what you would come to expect. I know a lot of people have complained that KDP's webinars and their videos tend to be dry. This one actually is very interesting. It's very eye-opening and he gives some really good insights. Simple Publishing University. What can I say about this guy? He used to be known as Power Pack Success. And this is a dude that I'm telling you, he's not really big right now, but don't rest on this channel. He gives a lot of great content and he's re relatively new to this game. His name is Nigel Wingate. Nigel is fantastic. He has energy to spare. This man, know he has charisma just oozing out of him and he is very passionate about this business. You're gonna find one of the things I love about him is he tells you when stuff is on the straight and narrow and then he says, okay, this stuff ain't cool. And that part I really enjoy. All right, Kelly, pick up this one here. Keith Wheeler Books. Keith Wheeler Books. Tell us about Keith. He talks about publishing. I know no content books, yep. maybe some children's books. I, I don't yep. know what else he does. Keith's been around for a minute or two, actually. I believe he started his channel a little earlier this year. At least he started putting the work in there. He just, by the way, everybody give Keith a congratulations and a banana sticker for doing such great work with his channel because he went from roughly a little over 100 subscribers to over 500 subscribers right now because he hustled his face off. And here's the really cool thing. He and I actually had a great conversation. Uh, Keith's a good friend of mine and also a former coaching student. And uh, I sat down with him and he had this novel he's been sitting on for like the longest time. And he kept saying, man, I can't get time to it. Can't get time to it. And I'm like, dude, you keep putting out YouTube videos. Why don't you put that on hiatus, take care of that friggin' novel and publish it. And I was telling him, dude, you're too busy putting on oxygen masks on everybody as the planes crash and you're not taking care of yourself. And he, you know, he nodded his head. He did a live video actually just yesterday over in his channel doing an unboxing of his recent novel. So do yourself a favor. Keith Wheeler Books is excellent. The guy is improving his video content every single time and his tutorials on no content books are worth thousands of dollars. I'm going to repeat that again. If you aren't familiar with how to format books, especially no content books or children's books too, go to his channel, consume his content, make sure that you put your his videos in some of your playlists and hang on to those because they're going to be worth some money to you. Keith is giving this stuff away for free with no expectation of anything in return. And sorry, Keith, I didn't know much more about you. I just started watching your videos after you got coaching from this guy. So There you go. And you know, writing is not my thing. All right. Who are these guys? Big old dorks. The big old dorks. 
<laughs> I'm sure they're loving it. I don't see them yet because there's no fire emojis in the Dorks house. Dorks in a loving way. Yes. Uh, the Mickelson twins. The Mickelson twins. For those of you that are listening to this on the podcast, the Mickelson twins, Christian and Rasmus. These guys are a frigging hoot. I'm going to tell you, hide your kids, get them, you know, put them away for the night. All right. If you're ever going to watch them because... They have a penchant for the uh, expletives. They, they like to curse. And, and it's not that they're purposely doing it. It's just how they naturally are. They, there's no filter on them. So, uh, but if you can dig through all that, if you can you know, get past the emojis and some of the gags that they do in their videos, there is high tier, high quality content. And right now, these guys are at the forefront of the audiobook publishing industry, you do not want to miss out on Mickelson Twins. I've already talked about their audiobook Income Academy, and here's the thing, if you can't afford it or you don't want to afford it, that's okay, because they have tons of videos that's gonna give you great information. I love these guys, and here's the really cool thing. When they mess up, they say they mess up. And that's really one of my favorite things about these guys is they just, they're transparent. They're like, yeah, we did this, eh, whoops. And they do it in a fun fashion. So, uh, by, by the way, I don't know if I'd ever got the chance to show you yesterday's video for them. It was, it was hilarious. Uh, alrighty. Last, uh, not last but not least, we got two more to go. We got two more to go. Lulu Press. This is actually one that is hosted by Chelsea Bennett. She's the PR rep from lulu.com. And uh, it seems like I might be promoting an aggregate publisher, but it's far from that. Uh, here's the deal. Um, I don't have much experience when it comes to publishing on Lulu, but I do know this, that Chelsea has, a, has quite a heart for this business, and she has an ability to communicate to the audience in a very simple and easy to follow fashion. Her tutorials are what's called Lulu University. So make sure you go to Lulu Press here on YouTube, hit that subscribe and make sure that you turn the bell notifications on so you don't miss a single one of their broadcasts. I believe they do it every week. And Chelsea is a lot of fun. I gotta get her back, which by the way, big shout out Chelsea Bennett. We need to get you on back over here to the channel to talk shop again. All right, we got our last one before we jump over into the chat here, do you have any speculations about who it might be? I, I kind of saw it, but Cheater. the person that I thought of is not on your list. Okay, good, good. So um, we're gonna we're gonna attack those ones and hopefully we can uh, talk about some of the other people here. All right, last but not least, we had the pleasure of meeting her last week at Vid Summit in Los Angeles. None other than Julie Broad of Book launchers you want to look up book launchers on youtube julie has been doing this business of youtube publishing as well as book publishing for a number of years uh, she's been in the space since 2011 and speaking of book launchers her her ears were burning she just said <laughs> hi guys she comes right in like it was like we planned that by the way everybody we planned julie to come in right as i was getting ready to talk to her there's a good reason why I put her at number one because I really love her content and it continues to elevate and escalate to epic levels. Her videos are becoming awesome, they're funny, they're engaging, and they're informative. And here's the cool thing is, Book Launchers does offer a service, but you never see Julie trying to go, hey, you gotta go get my service. She's giving you free information. So I can't recommend the book broad enough. Yes, she calls herself the book broad. This is not my words here, folks. So, so Julie Broad is one of the best, in my opinion, this year on YouTube. I love her stuff and her positive energy. She's just always smiling. That's one cool thing about her. She's a nice little lady in person. She's too. a nice little lady. <laughs> You're so nice. I, yeah, she's a... I have nothing bad to say. Uh, absolutely. Uh, she's, she's a nice, nice person. Yes, big and, and banana sticker. And she's Canadian. All Canadians are nice. <laughs> yeah, so big banana sticker to Julie Broad of Book Launchers. Uh, by the way, folks, she doesn't do her live videos on YouTube. So if you want to catch up with her live videos, you only see the replays on YouTube. You have to go over to facebook.com slash book launchers to hit the like on her uh, business page and hit the follow so you see her live videos that she has every other Tuesday. 
great information over there as well. She gives away prizes on a regular basis, and she even does an indie author book review every week. So don't miss out on that one. You know, you get a review from somebody who is, in my opinion, one of the best in the self-publishing industry. So once again, big banana sticker to you. We definitely, all of us appreciate you. So we blazed through a lot of those things, and I moved pretty quick. And I did it because I want to make sure everybody gets the information that they need so they can go over to these channels. Now, I haven't put the link to any of the channels inside the, the uh, video description, uh, but you know you can always just go ahead and just YouTube it on up, Google it on up. You can be able to find it out. Now, what is your favorite YouTube channel about publishing books? Do you have a few of them? What video creator has helped you most and who would you recommend? So, Callie, who would you recommend? You missed two channels. Okay, we got two channels. Kelly's got a couple good ones. Go ahead. Me. <laughs> I even said at the very beginning here that we weren't going to talk about ourselves. And I'm sure we saw inside the chat, they're like, don't forget Dale and, and Kelly Publish. Or um, Mr. Kelly Publish, as people love to say. No, uh, Jillian Perkins. Jillian Perkins, yes. Yeah, see, I've only heard of Jillian, so I'm not she's familiar with a, her work. She's a really awesome... YouTuber, mm -hmm. and I will put her name in the comments. Great, because she um, spells her name a little bit different. Um, but she does publishing. She has a six-figure business. Um, talks about efficiency and making money. So she's cool. Tiana, we're gonna keep you around. I see she she uh, uh, abbreviated the show name S P W D. Hashtag SPWD. Let's put a fire emoji right after that one. I gotta, I gotta go full blown Mickelson twins on you guys here. Uh, all right, what was the the second one? You said Jillian Perkins, and, and, oh, and, and it was you, and it was yes. <laughs> guys, don't miss out on Kelly Publish. That's K E L L I. Uh, so, um, all right. What are some other recommendations? In which, uh, by the way, as you start to scroll through the chat, if there's any kind of questions, folks, make sure that you shoot them off here. And uh, I do definitely um, want to it. encourage you that uh, if you're watching this on the replay, I definitely would love to hear from you. If you've got your own channel that you would like to pimp that uh, has anything to do with self-publishing, let me know about it. I, I definitely would like to hear it because sometimes there's some people like, oh, I, I, I don't know if I want to you know, promote my channel. Please, we want to hear about your channel that has something to do with self-publishing books. It's always a pleasure. I, I know that um, I try to research some options and there are some people I'm sure I've missed at some point or another. All right, today's word, word of the day. Prove it you got this far, all right? Subjective, ooh, subjective. Use that in a sentence inside the live chat or over inside the comments. And do me a favor, if you're over on the Twitters, Tweet that word out to me. Subjective. All righty. So, who, uh, uh, what else do we got? Did anybody else show up last minute here that I missed it all? I don't remember from 25 <laughs> minutes ago. So many. I seen John Wasser. He says, nice shirt. Where can I get one like it? So, I've already plugged it, John. Where, where were you? Uh, let's see here. Actually, you can go to selfpublishingwithdale.com slash drunk, I believe, is the, the link. Bear with me here, folks. Sorry about this. Um, yeah, drunk shirt. So you're going to go to selfpublishingwithdale.com slash drunk shirt if you want to get your hands on this shirt. I really like it, actually. It shows off my guns. Oh, I did it the wrong way. There we go. Oh, all righty. Uh, the whole t video topic is subjective. Diana Eden, there you go. Diana's been hanging out with us today, hasn't she? Diana's amazing. Awesome. Thank you. You get an extra banana sticker. There you go. Social Media Club. Is anyone off to the hashtag TribeConf this week by any chance? Mm. Is that the Think of It conference or what's the Tribe Conference? I, I don't know. I don't know. He'll have to tell us. So, If you're still lurking about, let us know. Success itself is subjective. Uh, Good one, Kim, here. You get a banana sticker. The Science Fiction and Fantasy Marketing Podcast. I've never heard of it. Ooh, interesting. Risa interesting. Faye said that one. Hmm. Um, let's see. Uh... I know it's Luxury Card Store, said Catherine Shelton. Uh, you were a guest on her show at one point. Um, it, it's tested my memory. Be oh, KDP University, Risa also mentioned. 
KDP University, yes, yes. Uh, they, they're, they're really improving their stuff and they're trying to go and make better video content. I know a few people attended some of the recent webinars and they were rather underwhelmed. Uh, KDP, I mean this in the most loving way, but um, it's an exciting subject. You really shouldn't make it seem like it's watching paint dry. I'm just gonna say it as I see it. Kathy Mankin's being quiet, but that's okay. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I, th I think all the suggestions were mentioned. However, yeah. this is testing my memory, thinking back on what we talked about 20 minutes ago. So if I miss your suggestion, I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Ernest, hey, what's happening? Good to see you here, buddy. And thank you very much for the kudos. I appreciate it. You get yourself a banana sticker too, my friend. <laughs> Ernest is really starting to get some great traction in the self-publishing business. Kudos to you, my friend. Uh-oh. Diana says she's addicted to YouTube, but I usually try to do my work and not watch live. But today she was bad. Today you're bad. Uh-oh. Oh. We fed into your addiction by giving you 10 you channels. You can do it! <laughs> yeah. uh, Marco Mutino, AMS ads, insane. Yes, Aaron Chase. Dude, Marco is a favorite of mine, and I'm... I'm just going to go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. Sorry, Marco and Natasha. Marco and Natasha are really starting to game plan and put some ideas into play that the two of them are going to form a power couple. Hmm. And uh, they're going to be putting out some video content. Right now, they're just kind of busy trying to button down a few things in their business before they venture over into the video content creation. By the way, Marco and Natasha, fantastic. We got to spend some time with them out in Los Angeles, and I can't say enough great things about the Marco already is is just I'm a big fan of his content and uh, by the way AMS it's not proper nomenclature it's actually AA now Amazon advertising <laughs> Aaron Chase also took uh, the Mickelson twins mm -hmm. audiobook Academy and has great things to say about it yes yes you want to take a look at it and by the way there's a free version of the course that's at selfpublishingwithdale.com slash ACX course. You can take a look at Audiobook Income Academy. I give it two thumbs up. It's really excellent content. Yeah. Well, uh, Daniel Patel, when did he come on in? Daniel, it's good to see you, buddy. Uh, glad that you joined. Did you come out to Vid Summit and I not miss, and I missed you? I'm going to be really upset if you did come out and I missed out on you. Um, well, gee whiz, it seems like we really just blazed through things and... As Diana Eden points out, hit the like button, everybody. Hit the like. It doesn't hurt. It's free, and it's a great way to support the channel along with your comments and uh, constructive criticism as per usual. It's always a blast joining folks every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Daytime. That's Greenwich Mean Time minus 4. So make sure that you join us again this next week. This, this next week, we don't know what we're going to be talking about, but you can guarantee we're going to be here same time, same channel. So... Kelly, how can people find you? Kellypublish.com. Yeah, full show. In the meantime, if you like this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody else who would be into it as well. In the meantime, and in between time, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale. And Kelly. We will see you next week.